Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Leaders channel. We are continuing with uh, learning Game Maker Studio 2, learning uh, Game Maker Studio 2 drag and drop system. And in today's video, we are going to try to learn draw value um, button or how it, however it's called. So uh, I, I made the big pause as usual, but uh, I will uh, try to make these videos more and more as soon as possible and I think it will be possible after new year uh, but without promises let's uh, uh, start with uh, simple uh, tasks like uh, this one today uh, so far we have a very simple <coughs> game uh, which actually isn't uh, much of a game but uh, more like a test some kind of learning polygon so we have a, a white square for a player some uh, red triangle says enemies falling down from the sky or the ceiling and uh, one button blue button for restart one button x uh, red button for exiting the game and that's it uh, in today's video we are going to try to add uh, uh, this thing here which says draw value and uh, <coughs> when you're going to need it in uh, your games sometimes in your games you will uh, have to add some kind of text and uh, images or uh, numbers which are not interactive in terms of uh, interactions like we had with player uh, and uh, enemies and so on but more like uh, descri description information and so on like for example <coughs> you will need uh, some number to show how many coins your uh, player has collected so far uh, one uh, number for his health one number for his ammo ammunition for his gun uh, then images maybe for inventory then uh, uh, text some kind of text for some kind of conversation between players and other players or uh, NPCs and so on so uh, anyway you will uh, need some kind of text sooner or later and numbers and uh, you will need to draw that text and numbers on the screen <coughs> uh, I will add a couple of events here uh, the first one will be create event which we have used before that event is triggered only once in game that means uh, it will be the information in this ev uh, event create it will be read by game maker studio only once and once it is done then uh, oops then you uh, will uh, game maker will continue with the game uh, some kind of different event is um, uh, so called um, where is it I haven't used this for a while a step event which is triggered 60 or 30 times per second that is frames per second and uh, as many frames per second you have the game maker will, will try to trigger this event and check uh, if you are using uh, if you're what you're trying to do with your player or enemy um, and so on so this step event is very intensive on uh, computers <coughs> and your uh, processors and so on so you don't have to you don't want to put many stuff in it so um, the first thing you will try to do probably here uh, when you uh, and I do it I will show you the wrong way uh, uh, you will probably do it from uh, from time to time. I do it also. You will drag and drop this uh, uh, drawing uh, uh, button into the uh, create event or something like that. So let's find. You have to uh, scroll until you find drawing section of Game Maker Studio to drag and drop. Uh, buttons and uh, uh, I will um, try to drag and drop draw value into this create and it will work I'm currently in obj, OBJ coin which is only a sprite of um, yellow circle so let's try to see if this will work <coughs> uh, 
yeah, uh, so I have some kind of error here, obj coin 20 critical got zero expected. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, this uh, will work uh, even if you draw uh, a value in create event, but it will not show on the screen. I wanted you, I wanted you to see this because you will do this from time to time accidentally. I do it uh, a lot of times. It's when you don't think or just do things uh, fast and so on. So we, I will delete now this action and. Uh, I will actually make a new event, there is a draw event, just go to the events draw and pick the first one draw, you can also, you also have a couple of others, I don't use them much or at all, uh, but they have a purpose of course, but so far we are going to use the draw and let me just see, 6 minutes already, and, uh, <coughs> and now when I drag and drop this draw uh, the second action, the draw value button uh, into the draw event. Now it would, I think it will uh, show some text on the screen. Yes, uh, if you uh, look at the top left uh, uh, of the screen, there is a caption text on it and uh, columns, and uh, that's it. That's nice, that works, but also if you see. Uh, the screen of the game there is no coin there is no yellow circle anymore uh, that's not a bug that's a feature feature actually so um, you have to uh, game maker has some kind of its own uh, uh, way of uh, its own showing the uh, text and numbers and uh, sprites on the screen so we will learn that in next video but so far let's try to add some kind of value here like for example 120 and let's change this caption into uh, coin coin uh, and uh, uh, yeah let's see how it will look now coin 120 great so this uh, second field here a value you can use it to put some kind of uh, numerical value in it for your uh, as we said before for your ammunition player health and so on uh, or maybe even a name let's try i don't know if this will work let's type john for a name of the player now it says this is an error so this has to be a numerical value and uh, let's try to delete this uh, let's see if this will work mm -hmm. there is um, error so you will have to leave those I forgot how they are called and this X and Y is where on the screen your uh, text will show so if I type X now will uh, that will push uh, the value which we draw on the screen uh, 100 pixels to the right so you see there is coin 12,000 uh, 100 pixels to the right so let's try to put it uh, 300 to the right and 300 to the bottom so y uh, coordinate is up and down top and bottom and the x is left and right so we have this uh, now in the middle of the screen um, i don't need that but just wanted to show you how it can be done and that's it uh, we will uh, explain this relative in uh, another video but so far we have uh, made um, a value show up on the screen and it says coin 12000 and you can use that as i said uh, to show some numerical values on the screen uh, and um, maybe uh, so far we don't need it but yeah we will find some kind of use for it as soon as possible okay that's it for this video uh, 10 minutes not so bad so uh, thanks for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one bye for now